In this video, I'm going to solve the 18th problem from chapter 19. We know that for an adiabatic process, P V gamma equal to a constant. Evaluate a constant for an adiabatic process which involving exactly 2.0 mole of an ideal gas passing through the state having exactly P equal to 1.5 atm and T equal to 300 Kelvin. Assume a gas is diatomic whose molecules rotate but do not oscillate. As we already studied in the theory for the adiabatic process, the relation connects pressure with volume will given the rule P V gamma equal to constant. So in this question, we are going to find the value of the constant. And they clearly mention the gas is a diatomic and the pressure value is given, which is 1.5 atm. So we have to convert that atm in terms of Pascal. And the temperature is given as 300 Kelvin. And the number of moles they mentioned here as two moles. And the gas is an ideal gas. So ideal gas, which is diatomic, okay? And its pressure is given as 1.5. So let's, I just write what is given here. N value here they mentioned as 2 mole. And the pressure value they mentioned 1.5 atm. So if you want to convert this atm into Pascal, so we have to multiply 1.5 with 1.01 multiplied by 10 power 5. So let's we see what's the answer for this. 1.5. Multiply 1.01 10 power 5 is 1.515 multiply 10 power 5 Pascal. And what's the temperature? Temperature they mentioned 300 Kelvin and it is ideal gas and then it is the diatomic clear okay and then here the relation we studied in the theory pv gamma equal to a constant a constant now we are going to find the value of this a constant clear and this is a gamma which is di diatomic so gamma for diatomic we already know we know the rule. Let's define the value of the gamma first. So we know the rule gamma equal to Cp over Cv, right? And Cp for diatomic, which takes the value of 7 over 2 times of R over, and Cv takes the value of 5 over 2 times of R. So we can cancel. So this 2 with 2. So finally, we will get the gamma value as 1.4 because this is a diatomic gas. Clear? Okay, now we are going to find the value of this constant. So for this, first of all, we have to find the value of the pressure. Pressure value is already given, but volume is not given, right? And they mentioned this is the ideal gas. So we already studied the ideal gas equation. What's that? PV is equal to N or T, right? And here we are going to find the value of this V. So I have to rearrange this equation. Therefore, V equal to n r t over t i'm going to substitute the value which is already given in the question n values 2 and p pressure is 1.515 10 power 5 and t is 300 right so i'm going to substitute the value and the gas constant value r is 8.314 so i'm going to substitute all the values here so let's see what should be the value for this volume okay so n takes the value of 2 R is a gas constant 8.314 multiply the T here is 300 Kelvin which is given in the question and the pressure I have to take the value which is 1.515 10 power 5 right 1.515 10 power 5 let's we see what's the value for this volume Yeah, I got the answer as 0 0.0329 
and this is a volume right so the unit here is it's meter cube okay now what i am going to do i'm going to find the value of that constant because we know the relation p v gamma equal to a constant i'm going to find this constant so for that i have to substitute the value of this p so what's the value of the p 1.515 multiplied by 10 power 5 and what's the unit for this pressure the unit for the pressure is pascal or we can write newton per meter square right because why i just need newton per meter square because here we have meter cube by that we can evaluate the the, the actual unit for this for that purpose instead of this pascal i just use newton per meter square clear okay multiply with volume i have to use this value so 0 0.0329 and meter cube right and then gamma so we have to use the gamma for only the volume right so what should be the value of the gamma which takes the value of 1.4 we already found the value of this gamma as 1.4 so that's what i use this value here clear okay now first of all i am going to find this value so that means i have to take the power for this volume so 0 0.0329 power of 1.4 so let's see what should be the answer for this 0 0.03 29 and power is 1.4 okay i got the answer here as uh, 0. Point, sorry 0 or 8 sorry 8.396 so this part we got 8.396 multiply 10 power minus 3 and here we have the pressure i have to write this 1.515 multiply by 10 power 5 so i can write the unit here which is newton per meter square for the pressure but for this unit meter cube power because this 1.4 is applicable for the unit also right so i have to write meter cube power 1.4 right okay first of all we will find this answer so i am going to multiply this multiply 1.515 10 power 5 multiply with 8.396 10 power minus 3 okay i got the answer as 1.2719 multiply 10 power 3 okay this is the answer for that constant but we have to know what should be the unit right newton per meter square i am going to write as it is how we can find the power so we have to add right so that means this will take meter power 3.4 sorry 4.43 4 plus 1.4 right so by that this unit 1.2719 multiply by 10 power 3 newton meter square multiply meter power 4.4 now you have to divide these two because the denominator we have meter square when you divide this number by two we will get the unit as newton meter power 2.2 so what should be the constant 1.2719 multiply 10 power 3 and what's the unit newton meter power 2.2 so this is the answer for that constant clear that's it. Thank you.